case I, I forget anything later on. Because I'm, sti I'm still not completely familiar with this this um, category. no way around this item you always need to get it yeah the, the restriction for this category no items is actually not using items because you need to get some you need to get the memory I mean the code key the memory card and that's it those are not like consumable items of course those are like key items So you can actually get any item you want, as long as you don't use it on this category to, to be a valid run. So that means no drainers, no enhancers, boosters, and also no recovery items in battle. And no shots, which is what makes this category pretty hard. Because in any percent, we save a lot of shots. We we actually get shots through the entire game, just to use them on the last bosses, and we just wipe out the last bosses pretty easily. But here we need to fight them, all of them, without enhancers even. So it's it's like the end of the game is pretty hard on this category. On any percent, the end of the game is almost trivial. Almost, because there's still two battles there that can mess you up. Yeah, definitely. Especially uh, when you speedrun. Because you have like a, a very low level. And that means you have low HP and... Yeah, fair enough. Enemies will make uh, less damage because you are low HP. Uh, but hazards like uh, pros and, and rocket launchers and those kinds of stuff, those do fixed damage regardless of your level. So that's actually pretty high damage when you are low low level. Especially on ultimate. Like for example on ultimate, like ultimate no items is gonna be insanely hard. I have a couple of tries at that, but I never finish a run of ultimate no items. That's why I I I just start doing normal no items for a while and then I'm gonna progress to hard and then ultimate again. But yeah, for example, on ultimate, uh, on area 6, you had to fight uh, the monsters of Dr. Frost, and the red monsters do... how much? 600 damage. And you only have like... like 900, I, I think. So that's basically two hits to kill you. And no items, <laughs> you, you can like recover in between the battle, and you actually have to lure the creature to the door. It, it's like it's just so insane. It's like the biggest wall that you have to overcome on ultimate no items. And you know, on normal, it's still hard, but at least it's possible. You can take like six hits, I think. Yeah, his story is super silly. AT. AT 
see it starts from arm throw into back heat. Oh, I didn't kill it. Wasn't paying attention to the damage. Do I get less than 60 damage on the AT? I should go for a right kick instead of a left kick. But anyways. We got turn you out open. <laughs> yeah, so everyone can just open the cells, of course. things are not explained in this game so I guess maybe maybe the developer intention was like because the, the terminal kind of has like a scanner at the beginning so maybe just some people can open it Diaz being one of those but the, the scanner is not very good because you only need to to appear to be Diaz because this is not actually Diaz. He just looks like Diaz. So as long as you look like Diaz, you can open the terminal. <laughs> you can bypass the scanner. That's that's not a lot of security. Yeah, you can destroy that that panel before going into this battle. But I miss one. One attack. Right kick. Left. And we end with a right. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe it just needs to be sure that those are hybrids. Like a human will not be able to, to do it, I guess. Makes sense. Also, I always wonder if there is like a way to translate the the symbols of the terminal. Like the text, the text there. Just like try to deduce what it says. Because there are some messages in the game, like you see some, some things written like on the walls, for example, or near some boxes. So maybe by grabbing those things and trying to deduce what words are those, we can kind of deduce what the message says. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, and also you don't have to explain everything. I think I'm, that's one of the oh fuck. I miss I miss that. I think that's kind of an important thing about games and story that you can get away with a lot of stuff on story. This is not a movie, so also you you always have like the possible problem that maybe sometimes you explain too much and that's kind of boring I guess one of the best things to do is something in between like I really like how Dark Souls has this story like it has some of the story on the items so it's completely optional to the, to the player to read it or not like, if you want the story, you can just go and read every description. But if you don't want, you just play the game. It's not like they, they just put the story in your in your face. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. 
like this game is already long <laughs> so imagine with with more cutscenes that'll be insane I I guess like I think that like the casual uh, playthrough in in average is like eight to twelve hours on this game. Like if you level up, you grind a little, you die a bunch. That's like normal for the average player. Yeah, and I mean, Metal Gear is a movie, after all. <laughs> oh, fuck. I got trapped there. Come on. No. I'm gonna lose so much time here. I'm not gonna be mad if I lose this, this one. Ambrosian. Got killed by everything. Yuma just wants to make films by stuck in games industry. Absolutely agree. gonna go into the first boss I'm gonna play a little bit risky because I'm behind yeah I'm definitely behind so don't be surprised if I die here Two yums? That's very rare. Okay, we're gonna learn that. How much behind I am? Yeah, I'm losing a lot of time. I'm still gonna continue though. Blocking on contrary completely random. Uh, it has a random factor. Uh, so basically, well, all the reactions. Uh, kind of depends a little bit on your speed stat and your reflex stat. Uh, but the only thing that depends on that is like how fast you react. So for example, if you choose uh, guard, your your character will always guard, but sometimes it will take a little bit more time. For example, if your enemy is faster than you in stats or has more reflex. So sometimes you, you probably notice that your uh, your character guards like immediately, or sometimes it takes a little bit of time. So as long as your character does the guard animation before the the attack lands, you will you will guard the the attack. A step, on the other hand, uh, the speed of doing the step. Uh, will depend on your speed and your reflex but after you do the step whether the, the attack lands or not only depends on, on the space you know like just the spatial uh, stuff like the hitbox of the enemy actually colliding with yours 
and we we counter is, is the same even if you react super fast to counter uh, if, if the hitbox touches you you are just done you're gonna receive the attack so yeah in, in that sense counter is like the, the most hard to get what you want to do is you want to know uh, which attacks are like easier to counter than others uh, probably the best example is backblow. Backblow punch is extremely easy to counter, and you will always know when an enemy is gonna do a backblow because you have to be low HP, and it's gonna do the the punch animation for attack. So you can take advantage of that and counter a backblow. the best movement so let's see where it's now that's pretty good sometimes now uh, is found right at the door and you have to wait a little bit for it to move away I waited on purpose there, so the creature hit the wall, and that gives me a, a free pass into that door without worrying about the giant creature. Oh, you didn't knew the the shark? Kid. Yeah, that's the shark. Kid. That thing is pretty obscure. Like most of the people don't know about that. I actually didn't know knew about that for a while. Um, like that thing is not even on, on game facts it's not even in the official guide of this game but yeah it's pretty cool it even has some items it's faster it has less battles now of course if you're going for like completionist you probably don't want to do that because there is less battles yeah of course quote unquote official because <laughs> it's just like a random guy that wanted to do a guide about this and print it as a magazine <laughs> which fair enough the guy is Kind of pretty. I mean, the the guy. It's it's good looking. It has nice nice prints and cool stuff. But it has a lot of things like just wrong, like straight wrong. I was running to a wall this far at the end. <laughs> yeah, the camera is kind of messed up. It's easy to get lost on some parts where the camera just instantly instantly change. So yeah, no items, but you can still use these because those are no items. As long as you don't save and reload, it's fine. Because these are single segment. So if you die, that's the end of it. That's the end of the run. Yeah, movement is pretty weird. Especially because you go from like the action, uh, like the free movement of, of the overworld into the like pretty constrict movement of the battles where you can always have to move facing the opponent yeah, here the 
other side. Skip. I didn't get it, so I'm gonna go for a backup. Yeah, that skip right there is fairly hard because the the trigger of that Mafrit Mafrit is the horse is extremely large. I was feel drunk running the overwall. <laughs> Yeah, and you can definitely tell that there is some stuff that the developers didn't finish. Or at least they, did, they didn't look into. Uh, one of those is standing jump. Because you know, every time you get... So cutscenes have triggers. And they... Triggers expand into like some cave. So, as long as you touch a trigger, you're gonna be stopped immediately, right? And the cutscene is gonna start. So, that happens when you are running into the trigger and when you are doing a running jump. Like, if you do a running jump into a trigger, you will, you will be stopped in, right in the air. And you won't advance into the cutscene, you know? Uh, but I think developers never look into standing jumps because I mean who wants to do a standing jump into a cutscene? That's so weird, right? They probably never tested. And the thing is that you can do a standing jump into cutscenes. <laughs> so you can advance a little bit farther. And you can do some weird stuff. And from we use that on some parts of the game. Uh, there are other parts where we can reuse it because it's actually risky. Uh, some some part of the games don't want you to do it, so you can like soft lock into into a cutscene, and then you are not able to move again. There's also a part in the game where if you do a standing jump into a cutscene, you can land out of bounds. And out of bounds is not cool in this game because you can't do anything. You're just soft luck. <laughs> yeah, for example, here we're gonna use an standing yum to get a little bit closer to this button. So Johnny has to walk just a little bit less. So another weird thing about this game is that some cutscenes are skippable and some others aren't. Which I feel is extremely arbitrary. Like this one for example. This this cutscene has three parts. The first two parts you can't skip it. But the third one can be skipping. It's really weird. Like I get the first part because you are going from gameplay into a cutscene, so it will be kind of hard to program that. But this part, right here, this second part, is after a fade out, so there is no reason to don't be able to skip this part, like from a programming perspective. I would find it kind of weird. Also, there are a lot of cutscenes that can be skipped on the last area. And I personally think that that's just developers running out of time on the sign and probably being too close to the headline. I mean, no, not headline. Uh, deadline, sorry. <laughs>
So stamina booster. Not a good item. Which is good. I don't want to run into good items on this run and feel bad because I'm not running any percent. It really sucks when that happens. Actually, one bad luck on items. Let's do this trick right here. Nice. That trick there saves, I think I, it saves like one second on normal, like two on hard, because the the crate takes more time to be destroyed, and an ultimate doesn't save time, because the crates die on one hit, so an, an ultimate is actually just faster to destroy a crate before jumping. This cuts in writing, for example. From programming perspective, I get why you don't want this cutscene to be skipped. Because you jump into gameplay right after the cutscene without fade fade outs. So for me that makes sense to don't make that cutscene skippable. Like it will be more work for the programmers, of course. Because you will need to like reset and modify the, the position of Johnny and all that stuff and that's a mess. standing jump here. You're gonna barely notice it. But I did a standing jump there, believe me. I'm a couple centimeters ahead. And yeah, that, that saves just a couple of frames. It's really not a lot. if we find a way to get through that bridge or skip that cutscene somehow so we don't have to do all this running around because yeah th there are no battles here but it's still a pretty long trip This bar is literally just running. If you go for every single battle, this bar is like one to two hours. But we don't care about battles. And it's kind of crazy because if you do like a, a, a casual gameplay of that part, and, and you go for all those battles, which I think there are like 40 battles, Counting this one also. Kevin was here, waiting for you, that whole time. He was sitting there, not even sitting, standing there, like for, for like two hours, just waiting for you, so he can speak on this cutscene. That is a patient enemy. My 
health is not complete. Okay, I, I need to go for the safe station after renewing my card. If I don't die here, of course. like here might get hit okay and I shot that's pretty good on air percent. Saved like 20 seconds. Well, <laughs> yeah, just run into the line, whatever. Okay, one mine survived. I normally want to activate every mine here. So after the renewal, I can just jump back. I don't have to adjust the camera. I'm still gonna jump. Yeah. I need to be full health for this battle. Even full health is not a lot of health. Actually, I don't need to match here. I can just press the buttons gently. Because even if you match, you still have to wait for Kevin to end his like talking animations. It's actually also one of the of the cutscenes that take about the same time on English and Japanese. Because you see, there is a lot of like dead time in between one message and the next one. That's because it, the game is waiting for Kevin Young to stop moving. But yeah, text is, is definitely not the reason why we use Japanese. It's because it's easier to... I mean, it's faster to get power bars on Japanese. We need less level to be more powerful. So why Spear and Wrestling Cyberpunk RPG? Like, are, are you asking me? <laughs> That's a pretty good way to call this game. <laughs> okay, there there is a bunch of reasons why I speed run this game. Uh, there's two main reasons. There's one 
I love these games, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, yeah, like I, I just like it a lot. I like to, like, something I really like about this game is the amount of depth it has. Like, I used to play this game from my childhood until I was an adult. Like, every two years. I, I try to go for a, a, a new playthrough and every time I play it again I discover something new because it, it has so much stuff so that's like the, the first reason and the second reason is because uh, it's a very undeveloped game in terms of speedrun actually was the first person to speedrun this game completely serious I'm always up to undeveloped games because it's, in general it's, it's kind of fun to go for undeveloped games because you have to discover stuff, you have to be roading, glitch hunting and a lot of stuff that you kind of skip if you go for games that are already developed. about this game other than a second yeah put no for being one of the four RPGs of the N64 yeah <laughs> but not really <laughs> yeah that's right yeah that, like in general I think this game has a lot of flaws uh, but at least for my taste of games, I think the mechanics and the depth of the game like kind of overcome those flaws. But of course, uh, for most of the people, it's kind of hard to get around those. Like, you know, the very weird storytelling of the game. Uh, the tricky mechanics. Because, yeah, I mean, the game is kind of easy for me, because I already know a lot, a lot about it. But it, it's kind of very hard to get to that state of knowing a, a lot about the game. So you actually understand what you're doing. <laughs> also, uh, the game doesn't explain a lot of the mechanics. Like, the stats, for example. Nobody knows what Reflex does. Like, I'm probably, like one of the few people in the world that knows that <laughs> what what the stat actually does in this game so you kind of play the game very blind in general in terms of stats learning stuff and all, all that but for me that's kind of the beauty of it because you always have something to discover Um, we cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and there's also a thing that, uh, something that kind of adds up to the game, this game in particular, is that there is just nothing like it. <laughs> so there is, like, what other game is a wrestling RPG? <laughs> it's, it's 
probably the only one. Like, I know there's one game that is kind of similar. I don't remember the name. But it's more... It doesn't have a lot of RPG mechanics. It's more like, let's say, like, kind of turn-based wrestling, but it's, it's kind of weird. I died there last time. Like, I, I beat Kevin Young, which is one of the hardest parts, and then I just died on one of these guys. Lisa? No, I wasn't talking about Lisa. But now that you mentioned that, you're kind of right. I mean, Lisa has some of that. By the way, I hadn't played Lisa, I just saw a little bit of gameplay. I think I definitely have to play it. Someday I believe. Probably not on stream because he's. I know it's kind of uh, an, a strong game, strong theme game. So I, I kind of want to enjoy that to myself. Watch a review. Okay. Yeah, I hear that the game is extremely good. Definitely want to try it someday. He would shoot if he didn't somehow. Ah, uh, that's bad. That sucks. Next minute, like, it's gonna be complicated. Spin-up that are official, I think. What do you mean? Made by other people, but allowed by the creator. Like Lisa, you mean? Because I thought Lisa was like a, an original creation. Let's get this advantage. camera nice that's wonderful give me a better camera that's very better, better camera Yeah, right? Fuck these buggers. And there's so many of them. This, this is the, the hybrid you have to fight the most. On every category of this game. There's actually... 8. 8 of them that you can't avoid. 
well, of those eight, there's actually three that you can avoid, but it's just too slow. It's actually faster to just kill them. At least, like, you are a TIS, but I'm not a TIS myself, so I'm just a human. Yeah, and also, those fuggers are one of the one of the fastest enemies in the game. In normal, you doesn't notice, but on when you play an ultimate, many like are just so stupidly fast. Like they're on fucking drugs. Like they they put a steam pack right before starting the the fight. That's another reason why ultimate is so hard. And they also have like very good stats. They attack a lot compared to other other hybrids. And of course the guns. So you wanna be close to them and just like dodge the attack on the right time. Because if you are if you are too far away or you try to dodge the attack too early, you're gonna get shot. I did not a better name than Johnny. Yeah, Johnny Slater. Dude, he's the savior of the world. <laughs> I kind of like the concept of BS like he's such a billion that he doesn't e even need a, like a name like DS is, is a last name it's kind of a, a Spanish last name like he, he's just Diaz and everyone else in the game has a name and a last name like a, any other hybrid like you got Jenny, Johnny Slater, Kevin John, Alex Hunter, Jerry Silver, even Bros, the fucker scientist. But this, this is just this. <laughs> Can we beat this robot? appear at the last moment waiting below the elevator to surface like a fucking secret AG don't want to get any damage here. Oh god. Should die here. That was a very bad level. Yeah, there's a there's a big battle coming up against Super Mollifying, an overworld boss. Um, can I die instantly there? I don't remember. No, I can't. A normal, I can't. But I just need a couple of hits to to die. 
so the more HP the better. So by the way, did you actually finish the game? Is there any point to use this specific move over his counterparts? Um, it depends on what you want to do. Like, do you mean like using, I don't know, like sidekicks only instead of front kicks and wrong house, something like that? Or you mean like? Oh, that was weird. That was off on, on that catwalk. Anyway, I have to review that on the bot later. Or, or you mean like doing right or left on the on the movement? I mean on the on the techniques. Or we use any punch over other punch. Like okay, um, okay. So so there there are some advantages of different techniques uh, from a fighting perspective. For example, psychics are the strongest, but they are the hardest to land. Like every 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 move has a, like a a sweet spot and a sour spot. Uh, when you do a sour spot, you're, you're gonna do like very little damage, and you're not gonna knock down the opponent. Uh, whereas a sweet spot will do like maximum damage. So, psychics, for example, are like kind of hard to sweet spot, but they have like very they have higher damage than other kicks, a little bit higher multiplier. Or oh, is this run even possible? In a normal run, I don't use the strength of some bosses. Yeah. Uh, this run is pretty hard. <laughs> Hello, Reese, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, on any percent, we use a lot of items. And here, we have to... We have to manage our leveling a little bit more. So we are strong enough to beat the enemies. It always very day to low kicks and uppercuts. Yeah, it's also about preference, of course. Like that's that's the first thing. Some moves just looks better than others, depending on your taste. Like I like backspin kicks, for example. I love them, but they're so slow, so I never use them on speedrun. Also, they are pretty hard to get, but I love them. So something something to take on account. Um, for example, in general low kicks are the weakest of the kicks then you have middle kicks and then you have high kicks high kicks are the strongest and then from kind of kicks you got i think front kicks are the weakest then round house and then side kicks and backspin is I don't remember. I think it's it's around it's, it's between side kicks and round house. Fuck. Didn't meant to do that. That was perfect until then. But it was a very good fight. It was a two cycle. Yeah, like like I said, like an hour ago, maybe. Uh, for example, back blow hits, uh, back blow punch. You should never ever do a back blow against an enemy that always counter. For example, because they are extremely easy to counter. So that's something to have an account. For example, but back blows are pretty strong when you land them. Of course, I'm gonna take this. So yeah, on punches you have like 
You have Punch, that are the weakest, then Cooks, then Uppercuts. And I think, I think Black Blows are the strongest. Ah, and Grappling is broken. Back to right kick. Final step. I'm probably gonna get hit here. Yeah, it's fine. You should die. Oh no, take out though. It's gonna do two attacks. One full kick and a middle full kick. Oh, that sucks. Can I get it? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing when that happens. <laughs> Yeah, you can do that with some enemies. Not all of them, though. It's kind of weird why some enemies have, like, extremely higher priority than others. Like, for instance, for example, Kevin Young. I, I do this uh, by hacking. I mean, by looking at the memory. Uh, you can access the enemy power bar. So you will know when an enemy actually has a full power bar and all that stuff. So Kevin Young, for example, every time you grapple Kevin Young, if he has a full power bar, he will always uh, get the advantage and do an attack. It's, it's just impossible to beat him. He has way too much priority. But if he has less than one power bar, uh, you will have the advantage. So that's fine. But then you have other enemies like Alex Hunter, one of the last bosses. That even if he has like five power bars, you can just uh, like have better priority than him on grapple. Even if he grapples you, you can just match A and you will have the attack before him. It's kind of really weird. And yeah, some enemies have insane priority on grapple. But it goes from enemy to enemy. There's no like a, a general rule, it's just enemy specific stuff. Oh, it sucks. I think I jump. Yeah, I jump. He's gonna shoot. No, no, almost. I was kind of worried. Power reversal was the same, uh, a little bit different. So, there's something very soothing about your accent and your voice. <laughs> so, you say no, okay, that's good to know, I guess. Thank you. Maybe it's because I'm not a native speaker. My, my native language is Spanish. I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> no. So about about reactions on gravel, um, uh, those ones depends on your stats and your skill level of the technique you are receiving or the technique you are doing actually. So the position doesn't matter at all. Unlike the the other reactions, because you're you're just unravel, so just the position doesn't matter. So the first thing to take into account is your reflex and your speed. The speed doesn't take a big factor; it's like a small factor. 
the reflex takes uh, like a big factor on that. So when you have, no, I don't have to destroy that. If you have higher reflex than your enemy, uh, your chance of getting a take fall reverse all escape will be higher. That's the first thing, and the second thing is, so let's say uh, you're getting attacked and you're getting, I don't know, a tackle from the enemy and you decide to do a reaction, uh, any, any of those. So if you have like tackle level zero, it's gonna be very hard for you to get that reaction successfully. But if you have like tackle level 200, then it, it's gonna be extremely easy for you. What else? If you are doing tackle to the enemy and you have tackle level zero, the enemy will have a higher chance of getting a successful reaction. So that's, for example, that's why the one of the reasons why I do a lot of only arm throws on this run because that way my arm throw is it has a very nice skill level. And that way I don't get like those reactions later in the game. So I got some take falls on this area for example. Because my AT arm throw is still low. But later in the game I'm not gonna get those. And that was a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, area 4 in my PV is extremely good. That time it also was only like small mistakes on on the the main in black nothing else Good. so here's area 5 very interesting area Because he has so many battles. In contrast to the other areas, you can't skip battles here. You have to fight everything. So this was kind of one of the hardest area to road actually. Because the hardest thing to road in this game is just battles. And items if you are going on any version of course. Kids Alpha first. It's a pretty simple battle. Let's go back. Final step. I might get hit. That's fine. Do an 18 to two kicks. No, three kicks actually. It's two kicks on any percent. I might fail this. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so I need to back up. I'm gonna lose time here. Grab me in decoy grab. Go on behind. Because you do more damage from behind. I don't remember how good was my area 5 on the PV. It probably was decent. So I should play good here if I don't want to lose more time. So this one. So 
every time you grab an enemy, if you get the grab, the enemy will lose a little bit of power bar. That's the only reason why I do uh, an AT at the beginning of that of this battle. Because I guarantee always gonna have the advantage there on that grapple. If I grab it right when I get the, the power bar. Only on normal though. Because on other difficulties, enemies... Uh, enemies have like faster power bars so even if you do that you're, you're probably gonna be in trouble and you don't want to get a technique here it's just a time loss Same stuff with Sabah, right? I can grab it at the beginning and do an AT. And then go back. Until I have 2.5 power bars. And I need to trigger one of them at least. So on the next one, it's gonna try to grab me. Here you just want to have luck to land the most back kicks you can. Because enemies can actually react from behind, unlike you. You can only do a step from behind, but enemies can do other reactions from behind. And it's kind of very tricky because, I mean, if they decide to step, they will just step and, and that's it. And that's fine. But if, en if an enemy decides to guard or or counter from behind, uh, they will turn around before you will attack. And that's really bad because um, if they turn around too fast, you're gonna land a front attack instead of a, a back attack. And that's that's really bad for your damage. Notice you haven't used combos yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna use any combo. I'm actually gonna use one combo in the entire run. I'll explain you why. Didn't die, really? Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna get a, an extra kick, I guess. Now it's probably had like one HP there. Okay, so the reason why I'm not using combos is because in general combos suck. Um. So you pro you already noticed that I'm doing a lot of back hits. That's just. Uh, gain a hit on the back of the enemy uh, so a back hit does around 1.5 damage of a normal hit and it also is very difficult to to guard and to counter because the enemies will always like turn around before that so it's almost impossible to them to for them to react so Basically, I'm doing 1.5 damage every time I attack, almost. And that's the other reason why I do arm throws instead of other techniques. Because I set up the enemies so when they wake up, they, I, I will be on the back of them. So it's very easy to land a, a back hit. So, what's up with combos? The, uh, the thing with combos is that combos will always count as front hit, uh, hits, no matter what. 
Even if you land them from behind, they will have base damage as, as a front, front hit. So it's basically kind of a waste in terms of time and damage. And also, every time you do a, a back hit, the enemy lies down, you knock the enemy down, and then you have a bunch of time when the enemy is waking up, and you can use that time to have more power bar. So essentially doing normal hits is a win-win over combos. Should I hear? Yeah, essentially. Yeah, attacks on the floor also have base damage. Uh, they always do the same damage. We do some of those on any percent though. Because... Yeah, like, the good thing about, uh, like, straight hits is that they do more damage on the back. And also they... Like, overall, you save time. But the bad thing about them is that you get lower rank like the rank on, on the battle at the end of the battle so on no items it doesn't matter because you don't want items but on any percent it matters a lot so on any percent you actually want to go from some lure techniques because they they give you better rank in general so on any percent i do a bunch of of stumps just to get like double S ranks on some battles. Actually, you do so many of them that at some point you got a like a very nice stun skill level, and stun actually deals like very decent damage, almost like a back kick. But it's not faster. That's the thing. Like, the, the only good thing about doing that is that you can get an item. And yeah, on 80% you wanna... you wanna get the best items. Oh, also, the other... The, there's another thing. Um, about straight hits instead of combos. Uh, you can get awesome hits out of straight, which are essentially critical hits, and those do around twice damage, and if you are doing it from the fast, that's twice plus 1.5, I mean times 1.5, so that's like triple damage, I, I think. Yeah, 1.5 times 2, yeah, that's triple damage. So that's a lot of damage. So, of course, they don't happen very often, but if they happen, you're gonna save a lot of time. You can get awesome on combos. Okay, give me your high kick. Take fall, really? It's gonna be really bad. It's looking good. Yeah, it's probably okay. There's one more battle before the bosses. Uh, 
and I'm gonna head for the safe station first. So the only battles where combos are can be useful are the battles where you have advantage and when you have like all your power bars already. So but even then it's it's only faster if you can actually kill the the opponent in like one combo. So here for example, this enemy I can't kill it on one combo with four power bars, which is what I have. So I'm still gonna go for like single hits. But at the end of the game, there are some enemies that I can kill with combos on just one combo. Oh, this sucks. Oh, what I'm doing? I'm doing high kicks for some reason. He's gonna hit the wall. This is a very bad battle. Yeah, there's a lot of time here. And all because I got like a, a bad decision at, at the beginning. It's fine. At least I, I didn't get hit. That's like the important part of this battle, don't get hit. So you can go into the the bosses immediately and don't go for the safe station again. percent you get some shots here you get iron shot here we can shot sp for the end bosses here we can just keep that go right into the elemental bosses which are fairly hard not as hard as Kevin Young It's very uncommon for you to die here, but it's very common for you to lose time here. <laughs> that is super easy to lose time on these levels. Just getting like suboptimal stuff. This game really drops the platforming and tactical elements, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not really sure if I understand what you said there. Maybe try to elaborate a little bit more on that. You gotta die, dude. Thank you. Like you're doing a bunch of jumping and crawling and moving earlier, and 
I know you're mostly running through health. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think th that that's kind of one of the flaws of the game, because especially on on area one, there is a lot of that. Like there is some some platforming with with the boxes. Like there is kind of a secret area that you can access through jumping and all that shit. And yeah, then then there is like area three, which is not almost nothing of that. Then area four doesn't have any of that. Then area five is just battle. And yeah, I think developers definitely kind of drop that in development, I guess. Maybe because they put just too much time into the the battle system and mechanics. But yeah, I, I agree with that. But I guess it, it was probably because of that. Because they, they just spent too much time on other stuff and kinda lost focus on that particular aspect. I think. Yeah, if it doesn't die now. Okay. Yeah, it's done in such a way that the enemy doesn't reach. There's like a, a sweet spot on the HP, which is like a fifth of maximum HP. If the enemy has be below that HP, it's gonna use a, a recovery item. Sorry. So I wanna I wanna get the enemy like close to a fifth HP, but a little bit of that. And then just getting enough power bars to kill it. Because if I don't kill it there, it's gonna use a recovery item. And also, I only have four power bars still. This one is very similar. Oh, look at that. Awesome hit. Good thing it was guarded. That would have been four times that damage. Like... 280. <laughs> So close. And now I need one power bar. I can receive a shot. It's fine. I mean, no HP. That's better than getting knocked, knocked down by the opponent. Ah, oh, that sucks. Let's take another shot then. In general, that saves time. Getting shot instead of knockdown. And you should die here, right? Yeah, yeah I'm probably still gonna be behind. Just small mistakes here and there. Don't have a lot of time to heal the last boss.
the specific part of Konami that made this game is not to make it mystical in your games. Oh. A bunch of Konami support. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's a diverse cast. <laughs> to make those games and then this one. <laughs> There is a sweet spot for this enemy around here. You are too close for Antares to shoot at you, and you are too far for for they to do kicks. So they just don't do anything. <laughs> it's like the best. And you can just go for all your power bars. Time to die. Oh god, that's a lot of time. So the door is there. Want to be in front of the door at this line, and you want to do a standing jump into the cutscene, and that's where I split. This is the fastest text of the game. Alright, let's see. It's a long cutscene that can be skipped. And you see, Johnny's a little bit off of the camera there, of the camera shot, because I did the standing jump. So, I'm trying to remember where I can save time. Because this run is definitely not over. I can still PV. I guess area 6. I can save a little bit of on area 6. Yeah, I don't know what else. I just don't remember. I mean, yeah, possible same time. It says two minutes. It makes sense. <laughs> but I don't remember where specifically. I think I'll call the ropes and bathe. It's probably... Way too early. One, two, 
thing. You can do three, but it's super risky. If you want to get this advantage. Three combo. Right here. Oh, actually, well, whatever. Kind of wanted that three combo. It's useful for later. So that's one of the parts where you can do combos at that reaction threat strat. If, if you get like uh, an awesome hit. Getting a like having a combo done already is kind of good for later. If you get another situation similar to that one, you already have the combo built, so it's faster. But it's like very specific stuff, like they're just reaction strats. shots on those cells. And we're going to ignore this rocket launcher. Hopefully don't get hit. Shit there. Nice. Sentries. Circle around here because there is a Corcoroli on the ceiling. Don't get hit. Next battle is a bait, so I kind of want full HP. everything goes well, I can skip another safe station later, so this one is kind of close to my path. The next one is, is definitely not, it's kind of far away. Got more shots on this room. Here, if you are doing any percent, you want to destroy the rocket launcher on the right. That's a funny noise. <laughs> yeah, because the one on the right has a, an offensive answer. If you're going 100%, you want also the one on the left, because it has a defense answer. that it's fine oh, this guy has a lot of priority I hate it yeah, that's fine it wasn't a neck throw neck throw is really bad because you're gonna learn it and then your menu is gonna be fucked up I super hate this battle Any percent is much faster. Uh, War record of any percent is uh, 2 hours 33. It's 
during the past it was like two two weeks. I need Oh my god. Now I have to go for two barbars. That sucks. That's my cat, by the way. Alright, that was low. I think about any percent is that the shots, like just the items in general, make make everything everything so much faster. Like you got ring racers that completely skip a battle. That's super broken. You got four of them through the run, and if you're going for more record, you want to get at least two two more on random battles. You also got the shots, like just to give you an idea, you, you saw the Kevin John battle, the the boss of the third area. That took me about like a minute and a half, I think, that battle. Uh, that battle takes like like 24 seconds on any percent, you get, because you, you kill the guy with two shots. It, it's pretty insane. So shots saves a lot of time also on bosses. And then you have offense enhancer, which increases your offense for 20% I think. Yeah, 20%. And that's that means about 1.5 more damage from all your attacks. Like your normal attacks. So that's that's even more damage. That's 1.5 times 1.5 more attack from back hits. Like 2.25, I think. Oh, that's bad. All right. I wonder. What will happen if I get hit by a missile into the elevator cutscene? Or while I am in the elevator cutscene? That's something I, I should try someday. <laughs> Just to see what happens. Maybe it's gonna break the game. And teleport me into area 9 immediately. Wouldn't that be amazing? So next battle, oh yeah, now I remember, on my PV, I got a very bad next battle. Next battle is Corcaroli, aka the Summon School from Yu-Gi-Oh! 
which I think this game was be before Yu-Gi-Oh! So Konami can actually sue them because of the model of this monster. Just so similar to Summon School. Okay. Just stay there on the corner. Be a nice guy. And then we build 3.5 barbers. the hardest part of the of the battle is getting that kick. That invisible kick. After that it's just luck. Depending on how the enemy reacts. So I stayed a lot of time there. That one I have to circle here. There's an alcohol ropes on the ceiling. And just keep this one. Also very close. They have bait here. And this one is unskippable. We normally erase this battle because it's so slow. But we're gonna fight it now. That was kind of cool. Oh, also, look at my HP. It's an interesting number. I actually like this battle. I think it's a cool one. Very different from any other battle. Okay, gag groups. Four point. Five power bars. And you want to stay close to it so it doesn't shoot. You're probably gonna get at least one one shot, but actually you didn't get any. It's kind of weird. Don't keep the wall. Okay. No, okay, no, no, it's fine. Because it, it landed on on the front. That was scary. I was super close to the ledge. My friend is asking me to go to bed. Although if you stay and watch, but she's tired. I think I'm gonna go and turn around. Okay. 
don't worry. Thank you for watching and chatting. It's always, always good for me because it helps me staying awake. So, see you in another day. Good night, I guess. I can PV. If I PV this, I, I'm probably gonna switch to no items hard. But we'll see. One thing that could have like better, better design of this game is the text speed. That's something that happened a lot on all games. Like for example, I, I think one of the lowest points of Ocarina of Time, for example, which is also an NX64 all game, is the text speed. It's just so slow. Like you have to watch every single letter appear on the message. Some part of the games are not like that. For example, like the the aliens, they like. I think it's because it was it was definitely a design decision uh, from a, a storytelling point of view because the aliens don't actually talk to you on this game. They kind of just uh, like they talk to your mind, something like that. <laughs> like they send send thoughts to your mind uh, so you see the the text just appearing all at once uh, not letter by letter because they're not talking I guess so it's kind of a design plus storytelling decision from development and it's pretty cool and, and the best part is that you can just match that really fast <laughs> Alright, this guy is more power. I want to get him very close to the door. And I don't want to get grabbed for time loss. bread and butter of Harvey Heaven speedruns. So let's see, I have about 7 minutes to do this part. Gary Bros is like 3 or 2.5 minutes. Then I have around 4 minutes to do the, the creatures. That should take about 3 minutes. So if I do everything well, I should be ahead. We'll see though. There's a cutscene of course. Two cutscenes, so I don't know. I might be tight. Like I I'm I should save time, but I don't know if I'm gonna be ahead. Probably not. I'm looking at the timer. 
that sucks. Oh, at least I can save time in area 7, now I remember. Because of my PD, I didn't need to skip. But that means I have to do the skip. And that's that's scary. And risky. I can die instantly. That's how it is. Monsters. gonna be sloppy Are you serious? Okay. Can I get a quick hit for once? Yes! Give me another one, come on. Yes! Let's go, let's go. Just one more. Fuck. Yes! That's so fast! That's gonna save so much time. I got hit just once. That's extremely good. I just, I just need a good Gary Bros. Got three minutes for Gary. to get rid of the, of the guard. I didn't jump, that sucks. There's a mistake. Wonderful. Okay, now I need to go for five power bars.
No, that was bad. Okay, can't believe I saved it. But I think I'm still gonna be behind. That sucks. Okay, doesn't suck anymore. I got an awesome. Yeah, let's see. I mean, I'm gonna save most of the time that I lost, or even more. I'm still behind. I can be ahead at the end of area seven. I still don't know why is my area 4 so good. I'm actually ahead. Jeez. Well. Yeah, I need this. I mean, I don't totally need it, but. Super sloppy. He's not gonna save a lot of time. Minute twenty four. I'll be okay saving a minute. It kind of depends on the Sosma battle. That battle is so inconsistent. Also a good uh, Roomba, spinning Roomba of death.
I made him like eight. Yeah. I think that one also wasn't very good on my view. And yeah, you know what? If I happen to lose this run also, I think I'm gonna rewatch my entire PV. Cause yeah, I, I don't know exactly where I'm losing so much time on area 4. Just enough time to do that. Alright, so smart. I can do it. Because the poison stopped pretty early. Wonderful. Yeah, this is one of the bugs that you erase on any person because it's pretty inconsistent. Now, by now, it's way more inconsistent than it used to be because my understanding, better understanding of the of the game and the AI of Sosma. But even being more consistent, I think it's still slower than most of the battles. And also Sosma give you like a bunch of levels. So I think it's still better to erase this battle instead of others. I think it's looking good. Yeah, 
main dark Vlado doesn't take a lot. to buy kicks. I need a lot of up my right leg. <laughs> Let's go. So I only lose like five seconds from the gold. Yeah, that was just a setup on, on the glitch. It couldn't be faster. It's fine. Now, do I need the HP? Cutscenes, cutscenes. Imagine this game is without cutscenes.
Whatever. Whatever. Oh my god, he's so bad. I went between two of those three lasers. What the fuck? That jump. Okay, straight. Up from the right. And now straight. I'm always scared of this part. I mean, well, it's not that hard. Don't grab me, please. No, okay. I I'm fine with that. I mean, it's a time loss, but it's better than a next row. I 
like it so much. Take four. Are you serious? Can I still do it? Oh, maybe not. I don't know if that was a back hit. I think it was. Please, please. Don't fail, don't fail, come on. Just don't fail. We have take four. Are you serious? Okay, I'm I'm a little bit confused now. I'm super confused. I did I press start there? Okay, <laughs> there there is some stuff going on here. I'm almost sure I, I hear like the start menu popping up. I know. Maybe whatever. I'm I'm gonna write that down. See it later. Still not over though. It's definitely not over. My PD has the best segment on the area 9. So does my area 10.
right now I'm just looking at memes to relax a little bit before the last area last areas Yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna take the other safe station. I don't need this one. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to commentary. Because the cutscenes are over, essentially. Let's go! No hope. Probably the two hardest skips of the game, uh, like battle skips, are against former hearts. It's the other hard one also. I'd rather just get hit there than having a bad setup, because that setup is pretty tight. You want to get have, have that 100% of the time. I'm, I'm totally okay with that too.
So I have a two hit combo. I think I can actually use that on Corcoroli. It's too right mix, so it might work. Like as long as I get like all the kicks, uh, like back kicks, and just good landing on the hits, I can use the the combo. And it's gonna be okay. Fucking go. It's over. Oh my god. How did that happen? Dude. I'm so mad. Oh my god. How did this happen, dude? I know it's so much time. Also, bad hits all over the place. Oh, I'm so mad. The battle should already be over. I'm wrong at all. I hate everything. It's over, yeah. There's no way I'm gonna be on this. My Aerogen is just too good. I, I still have some battles. It's it's fucking over. I guess I'm gonna play risky on everything. Oh, it feels so bad. I need to fail that. I didn't feel, feel this one. Are you fucking serious? So fucking mad. How how did it hit the wall there? Like How do you hit the wall? Corporally, how? This is this is just bullshit really. This is the worst run ever. I'm done with this Kateri. No shit, like How? How did that happen? I'm super done with this Kateri.
I think I, I, I won't even try it. Like, we all know it's not gonna happen. Look at that, I have five minutes for Gary from now. I need way more than that. I think like seven. Just Gary takes like three minutes. And then there's the cutscene, all that bullshit. And I have low HP. I mean, not low, but not the best HP. I'm still gonna finish. Unless I die, of course, but... Just not feeling good about this. I'm gonna be like... Two minutes behind. Uh, why are you doing this to me? Yeah, that was just no goal. We'll see though. I guess Pivine or not, I'm probably done with this category. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna play Risky. I'm gonna go for 5 power bars immediately. I'm not gonna do the... The kick at the beginning. Fuck that. Let's do only right kicks. Maybe there's there's still a chance to save this. I don't think so, but who knows? I definitely don't know. You just gotta die. Nothing else. It's easy. Just, just die. You have one job. And it's dying. I guess it's not over. What is it? I know. <laughs> uh, I would be like two minutes ahead if it wasn't for that stupid mistake.
No fucking way. No. How do you how do you get that? How do you get that dude? No. No fucking way, dude. Whatever. Weak. Thank you. Eighty-eight. Under one. Did you start running? Yep, he's running. Still do it. Sucks. Oh, why well, I'm so bad at this game. Could've been better. Could've been way better. Eleven to twelve kicks. And now I'm so fucking scared of this battle. This used to be such a simple battle. But now I'm fucking scared of it. Because of how I lose the last run. I kinda don't believe this battle anymore. Oh, 
Five bar, then four point five. Grab him so he doesn't do a shoot. And go back. Oh god. That's gonna suck for DS. Still better than a shot, but that sucks. Get grabbed. Come on. He has so much defense. Four power bars is just okay. You know what? Let's go three. Let's go fucking three. Oh god. No! Whatever. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh no, you You need to grab me, dude. You need to try to grab me, please. Oh uh, no. Oh no. Right, that's fine. Come on, please, please grab me. Oh, it sucks. I gotta come. Uh 29. something I'm so fucking scared four power bars okay <laughs> 
the next round. Come on. No, that's a bad position. I hate you. Jesus. It's time to die. You gotta die. Don't you dare to use an item, fucker. No items for you. You gotta fucking die. Bro. Yes. Yes, fuck you. Ah. That was so bad. Seven seconds. Gold. Whoa. Where to? Washington DC. Oh, that's pretty Worst to go thing is that I still don't feel this satisfied with that. Leave it to me, man. Just look but at my some of this. It ain't Halloween, Just so you much know. better. I guess I do need to make a stop at a clothing store along the way. I, I, I might still not hurry. drop this category. My godness. We interrupt this broadcast for breaking news. I'll be right back. An astounding event has just taken place in New York City where President Weller is scheduled to address the nation. The president was on the stage when he was attacked by a man, but it turned out that the assailant was, strangely enough, none other than President Weller himself. Christmas. Merry Christmas.
Okay, so the stream just crashed. <laughs> that sucks. Good thing is that the local recording is fine. So... Yeah, that, that's... That's something. Well, anyways... Good thing is that everyone is already already sleeping, so that's fine. I think it's on again. Yeah, it's, it's coming back. Yeah, OBS just went off. I don't know why. Oh my god. I can't even put this thing. So... What to say about this run? Uh, it's it's bullshit. Like all of my runs on this category. But yeah, that, that that's how it goes. <laughs> no items is pretty hard. So fucking hard. I'm gonna review my my previous PV because I there's something off on area four and five. Something that I just don't understand yet. And yeah. I can say a bunch of time on the area nine. Area one was also very bad. Uh, this is a fifty one as I expected. Yeah. I kind of want to leave the category, but I also kind of want a uh, sub 251. I mean, sub 250, like 249. I'll be completely okay with a 49, but that's that's chopping two entire minutes. So, yeah, actually, that will be like getting better area four, four five, and just like a, a decent area 9 because the area 9 on this one was bullshit completely bullshit such a bad one anyway so yeah I'm still a little bit salty because that couldn't be in the run I need mean, not the run but a run <laughs> a decent run at least Here, I guess. Yeah, why not? Alrighty. That's gonna be it.